Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm doing a very natural face of makeup. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep on watching. All right guys, so today we're talking about base makeup. Since you guys didn't see me doing the base uh, in my last few videos. Now, I'm so sorry I have a mirror here because the last few videos when I was editing, I realized that I couldn't see myself very clearly because of the lights. They're too bright, the mirror was really tiny. I kept looking down, it was really difficult. So what I've learned is check yourself before you wreck yourself. So <laughs> I'm sorry, you're gonna have this little mirror, okay? in the frame, please bear with me for that. So I start, I always start with moisturizer and I apply my moisturizer half an hour before I start my makeup. If you're looking for a nice smooth base, that is what you should do. Wait for your moisturizer to seep in. For primer, I'm going to use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Since this is a pore filling primer, I'm going to focus it on the sides of my nose, wherever I feel like I have a lot of pores. I'll also focus this under my eyes. Let's address my skin. Yes, I told you guys, I started getting cystic acne and this is what it is. But thankfully, it's under control. I'm just left with the scarring now and I don't have any active breakouts on my face currently. Next, I'm just gonna take a brow pomade and I'm gonna take an angle brush. I'll just start by creating a line at the top there. I'll just do the other brow off camera and just remember that brows are sisters and not twins. I think that's how it goes. What I also like to do is I just like to take a spoolie, comb through my brows. Next, I'll just take some concealer and for concealer, I'm going to use two shades. One will be a lighter shade, which is I think creamy beige from LA Girl Pro Conceal. And the one which is my complexion is, I think, pure beige. So I'll take the color creamy beige and I'll just put some on my hands like this. And I will take my ring finger because that is the finger which is the most delicate. And below your eyes, you shouldn't be pulling and tugging if you're taking a brush and you're rubbing your face. I would say don't do that, okay? Prevention is better than cure. In fact, for fine lines, is there any cure? Once the damage is done, it's done, right? So be very careful. And why I like to use my fingers is because a lot of the times I find that fingers work better than brushes. It is so much easier to sort of really, really get in there. And what I do with my concealer is I always take it and I travel a little upwards with it because most of my hyperpigmentation is always concentrated in the inner corner of my eye. The next thing I'll do is I'll take the LA Girl in pure beige because this is closer to my complexion. I wonder if you can see it because this color is such a good match for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over my scarring from my cystic acne. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to underpaint and uh, we all know that Scott Barnes made this technique very very popular he is JLo's makeup artist but did you know that underpainting has been a thing right since the 90s or maybe even before a lot of makeup artists from Calcutta have been underpainting for decades now I can only speak for Calcutta I'm sure all over India or all of the, all over the world people have been underpainting so I'm just going to take the makeup revolution fast base stick in F14 did you know that they rebranded and now they're only called Revolution Beauty? Anyway, we still know them as Makeup Revolution, right? But yeah, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna draw this line. And if you do the ducky face, you'll know exactly where to place your line. Now, I don't go crazy with my contour because my face is very small, it's already very angular. Only when I'm going on stage, that is when I paint very heavy. But otherwise, if you're taking pictures or if, if you're going to be on video, then this kind of contouring is perfectly fine. You don't, you don't need any more than this. 
I'm just gonna put a little around my hairline and I think the rule is if you take your fingers above your eyebrow there's only two finger space till you reach your hairline then do not contour if you have three finger space between your eyebrows and your hairline then still you don't really need to contour this place maybe the side if you want to and if you have four finger space between your eyebrows and your hairline that is when you should definitely contour but hey, what are all of these makeup rules? You do you, right? So I've placed the product where I want it to. And then I'm just going to take this sponge by Puna Store. This is not very expensive. In fact, what I'll say is, a sponge is something that you're supposed to replace every few months and wash every time you use makeup please wash your sponges okay because bacteria grows inside this so if you're using dirty makeup sponges and then you're getting acne then you know why you're getting acne okay it is because of all of that bacteria that is in your sponge for my nose you guys will see that i have a deviated septum okay my face is not very symmetrical but that is something that you can very easily fix with contouring and it doesn't even matter okay listen people who are telling me that you know I'm putting videos out there which are too technical and they can't follow along listen no okay this is this is not technical stuff even if you make a mistake like for example I'll show you okay I haven't drawn a straight line I will correct it hang on hold on in fact the line doesn't even have to be that straight because your blender okay this blender fixes all mistakes and since I have a little bone here, which is protruding, what I will do is, especially where the bone is protruding, I'll make sure to paint really heavy on that one spot. So you'll, you'll see what I'm trying to do is, I'm sort of over correcting this line. So now what I'll do is, I'll take my sponge and I will just go over it. Now what I'll do is, I'll just take some concealer and I'll go down the center. And listen guys, you don't have to be super precise with this line either. It doesn't matter if you make it a little tera. It's not a big deal because your blender is going to work magic anyway. Next, I'll just take the pack foundation in the shade 3.1 and what I'll do is, again, on my hand, I'll just take one pump. For now, we'll see how much we need. Now, we've already taken concealer and we've put concealer here, we've put contour here, we've put a lot of cream down on our face. So, we'll just look at the other parts of our face where we don't have any creams and we'll just take our sponge and just go over those areas. What do I tell you guys? Again, my camera just cut off midway. So what I did was I took the Laura Mercier in translucent and I took the Makeup Revolution banana powder. And what I did was I just took some of the translucent powder on my palm like this. I went in with my sponge and I just went under my eyes, on my eyelid. Just took some of this powder and I went on my cheeks. Now please keep in mind that this foundation is not a full coverage foundation. I just set my forehead and then I went down my nose and around my mouth. None of this is rocket science. I took a powder brush. This is the BH Cosmetics powder brush and I just dusted off the excess. This might look a little white right now, but trust me, all of this will come together. And anyway, all of it will oxidize, so it is going to meld into your skin really nice towards the end. Then after that, I'm just going to take one of these brushes from an unnamed brush set. I'll leave it down in the description bar. I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. I'll just dip into these three shades right here. And then I'll just pinch my brush and go down my nose. This foundation is not a full coverage foundation, but that's perfectly fine because we want the skin to look like skin. So then what I'll do is, 
I'll just take my powder brush and I'll just go over everything so that there are no harsh lines and everything is nicely blended together. After that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Revolution blush palette. I'll just take this color right here with a BH Cosmetics brush again. And what I'll do is I'll concentrate this color here. Now, if you're trying to make your face look smaller, then you'll take your blush and you'll go up that way. But if you want to make your face look bigger, then what you do is you concentrate your blush right in the center. I generally go quite heavy with this blush because I notice that it fades throughout the day. So I always start with a lot and you will see by the end of this video, you will see all of the makeup really melts into the skin and it really calms down. None of it looks heavy. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Sofax Revolution highlighter palette and I'm going to focus mostly on these three golden shades right here. I'm going to take an unnamed brush, tap off the excess, I'm just going to take it like this and I'm just going to highlight. The beauty of this highlighter is if you just use a little bit then you will get just a little bit of glow but if you use a lot of it then the glow potential is ridiculous. Next, I'll just take my pinky and boop and boop. That's all I'm going to do. I don't want to draw too much attention to my nose and my nose is already very long. So what I do is I only highlight one point here and one point here. Hopefully the camera picks all of that up because honestly, I don't think my lighting is it just yet but I'm gonna get there now lastly what I'm gonna do is with my powder brush I will just blend and marry all of that together so that none of it looks harsh I just want that little glow when I move my face I'm not going for anything too crazy and yeah, that's the finished look. <laughs> no, it isn't. We'll just go in with some lipstick next. For lips, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take the Bella Vosti Matte Lip Crayon and this is in the shade 11. Now, I wouldn't exactly say that this is a matte lipstick. I think the finish is more of a demi-matte, satiny sort of lipstick. But I really like this shade because this is a really good MLBB shade for me. Next, I'm going to take my Essence Eyeliner and this is a matte finish. Next, I'm going to take my Essence Super Curl Volume Mascara and I'm going to coat my eyelashes. I really like this brush. Did my camera cut me off again? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what I just did was, I took the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I just sprayed my face with this. And what I did was, while I was spraying, I just took my hands and covered my eyes. A lot of the times, what happens is, we don't use mascara that is not waterproof, right? Because we know that it's a headache to take out. So we prefer mascara that is water resistant or not waterproof. And then we paint a beautiful face and the eyes are done. And then you go in with setting spray and you see that your mascara and your eyeliner has run and your entire eye look is spoiled. So what I would say is just hold your hand like this, okay? And then just spray your face. I've already doused my face in setting spray. I'm not going to put any more. I already put so much powder because I applied it twice for you guys because my camera cut off. I really need to figure out what's going on with my camera. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in half an hour because as of now, what you can see is the makeup is still not looking very natural, right? It's still looking a little um, white and it's looking very makeup-y. I want to come back in half an hour and show you guys the difference when the makeup has some time to sit and really melt into the skin and you will see how natural all of this looks. I'm back, it's been 20 minutes and as you can see, as promised, 
most of this looks very light where did the blush go i don't know <laughs> but no it's there okay it looks nice and natural and so yeah this is the finished look um if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more from me then don't forget to follow me on instagram i'm curly girl michelle there uh give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share like subscribe okay do all of these things and i will see you in the next one